What? What's that? Is Blackstar recording another episode of his Let's Plays with series or whatever? Yeah, that's right, random person that sounds very similar to me. I am continuing with my second thing, and to be honest, this is like, yeah, I don't know. I did some farming and stuff, so that I can finally use this katana and level myself up so I can use it. And I also put a fire... I infused it with fire damage, and now I can do fire damage with this katana. Which can be pretty good, whatever, for early game, really early game stuff. And I also got this helmet that some random guy dropped. But other than that, let's just get into it because, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Alright, so just to let you guys quickly know that when you first, like, travel the bonfire or whatever, you will spawn, like, up here, not down there. You'll come down, you'll be, you'll open up in this room and then you'll walk through this door and then open it just open through this door and then you walk down and then you get your bonfire whatever it is and then if you're cool enough with good internet you'll find like summon signs kind of like like that one where like people can summon you or whatever and see your your name and your nasty fit my not nasty the voluptuous chubby dips that can like swallow an entire apple just by like Open your mouth once. Let's see. See, it shows up. Fire damage. Now he does fire. And they people burn. Undead burn. Burn you undead. And just to let you know how I um, was able to infuse this with fire is with my burial gift. When you start off the game, you can choose what you want, like a special item you can use to do there with. When I first started off the game, first time I played the game, I actually started with like a soul. Just for regular currency, I thought it would like up my chances of getting more souls or whatever, but no, it was just a usable one-time souls item. Oh! Okay. I totally forgot that was there, but let's go do some... Let's go help this guy out, show you guys... Yeah, let's just show you guys what it's like. Oh, you must have been deprived or something. See, another guy. He's just summoning me to his world. This is this game's version of co-op. I'm here to help him out, do his thing or whatever. Just follow the host. Like, uh, just let you know, like, number one thing. Oh, he just fucked my ankles, right? Okay. Oh. Just to let you know, whenever you're being summoned to another person's world, always protect the host. Because when you summon as a phantom, a white phantom, whatever, you can die and you won't lose any souls. But when he dies, when this, when this man dies, when this man dies, he loses his souls and his humanity, so he'll lose health. So, it's okay to just throw yourself under the bus to save him. Use your life to save his. Did you get free? This is basically your version of free souls or whatever. Let me just show you some early games. Like, what this guy did, he opened up a, uh, a shortcut. He's probably going to take me to the boss battle, which I'm actually... Which is actually probably pretty bad. I probably should have come from that way. But it's okay. Off oh, okay. He's summoning another guy. Another guy is coming, coming on to help. It's okay. We can help this guy. Show off the boss. A little too early. Than what I wanted to. But that's okay. Whoa. Hold, hold. Oh, I know it. Oh no, you're a person. You're an NPC. Are you an NPC? Are you real? If I act weirdly around you, are you gonna respond to me or no? Okay, no. So I guess you are just an NPC. That's an NPC phantom, as in like, he's not a real person like I am. He's just 
there. A help, a helpful, a helpful NPC phantom to help you along the way if your travels or whatever. If you don't have internet or whatever, like yeah, if you're just a lonely hermit who has just a copy of Dark Souls Three or whatever. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I have black screen, but catch you when I don't have black screen. Okay. All right, so that was weird. To be honest, I never really got to do that whole boss battle kind of thing because it was just dark screen for like a pretty long time, which wasn't very nice or whatever. So I just quit the game and re I just restarted my game. So kind of sucks for him, I guess. Yeah, sucks for him that I don't get to help him out. I mean, because, you know, if I, if I was in that boss fight, like, you know, it would have ended real quickly and I'm and I'm saying this and I'm probably gonna watch my boss like that happen and I'll be screaming my head off I'm like oh no roll away roll away roll away stuff like that did I beat him like Castor no, I did it I have another character that I've been playing that I'm playing a new first oh there's another there's another item right here just let you know that. and also there are two items there's two items that are above me binoculars and gold pine resin. Gold pine resin would be found, uh, is, to be honest, gold pine, the gold pine resin is a little out of the way. So I, started, I did not, I totally forgot to show because I did that. I have this dead body right here. But the way you would get that, actually, you know what, I'll just show you how to get the gold pine resin. The, binoc the binoculars are up there, which you can just obviously see up the stairs and go that way. But be careful for this one screamy kid because he's like, help me! Help me! And yeah, I'm not gonna wake these guys up. But then you would just drop down here and not fall off the whole entire game and die again. And then there. See that's a oh, look at that. He's spread eagle. Just he's just ready for you. And you just pick up the gold pine resin right there. Are you breathing? Are you still breathing? He's tweaking, I'm still breathing. Okay. Immersion Bogan. Sadly enough. I think they only did that for this part of the game, but in later parts, they don't show, uh... Oh, okay. Let me talk about this one part a little bit. So there's a dragon right there. And it's alive, unlike the dragon that was up there and it was dead. So, bef but really before, they show like a really cool part when the dragon swoops in and then burns everything. And not getting shot with a freaking fire arrow. Oh, I didn't roll fast enough. Now, so I don't get, like, pulverized by that dragon. Let's go this way. Get my stamina back. Run, 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 while that dragon is distracted. Oh! And y'all can just burn to death. Burn him too? Come on. There you go. Burn him too. No? Come on. Come on, dragon. Burn him too. Oh, he's out of range. Oh well. No free souls for me. Oh, okay. That's good free soul. Now look at that. It's a chest. But you don't want to open that chest. See how that ghost phantom is slashing at it, slashing over there? He's just, he's not crazy or anything. That's a monster. You can, if you look closely. I don't know what just you know of. But just don't breathe. Why is my face so black? Okay, I'm just really shiny. See, look, he's breathing, and you can kind of see the teeth in there. But if you want to figure out if this thing is like a, a monster thing, whatever, you can look at that chain that's right there. That's right there. If it's kind of straightish, that means it's 
a monster, but if it's more curved, it's not a monster. It's open it without worry. But what kind of monster is this chest? Look at that. Look at it. And that's a grab attack. Yeah, don't grab me again. Don't grab me. Smack. Come on, let's see your ninja kick. Let me see your ninja kick. There it is. And he just one shot me. <sighs> yeah, look at that tongue. Tongue. Yeah, so that is a minute chest. I'm just skipped through that whole part because I don't want to show you how many times I pitifully died, and that is a deep battle axe. Okay, freaking these guys didn't burn by the dragon outside. So I had to deal with that, which was not nice. But yeah, it's a battle axe with uh a deep effect? I'm not really sure what deep does in this game, to be honest, but it does do a good amount of damage. For, yeah, early on, whatever. For, for an early on strength, kind of strengthish build. But yeah, I don't know if that was upsetting. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really die that many times. I only died like twice. I just showed the first death, and that's it. I'm like, I didn't have any of them. Oh! So that guy was like kneeling and kind of cuddling whatever. Not cuddling, just... Mourning? Yeah, because this is a different game. There's a soul on me. I don't need to pick this up. And, uh, hey. Hey, buddy. This guy was healed. Oh, okay. A little too far there. And we come over here. We got a fireball. Fireball. Bear, bear. Oh, I'm not gonna... That's copyright. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna fight this guy. You no, know, we don't have to. Like, I could've just ran past him, but I wanna fight him. Drink this. Up, uh, and instantly die. Just cut through the whole run through of me running back from that older bon other bonfire. Running back here because I know you don't want to see that. It's just a waste of time. Hey, buddy, you want to look at me? No? What about now? Let's see if I can do this. Oh, Mr. Perry. So, let's do this. Drink another one. And give that. Ooh, that is a lot of damage there. Just say night. Say night, night. Alright, forgot about you. Are you gonna do a little, your little dash attack again? Huh? You're gonna. Oh, there you go. But you forgot. Take that spawn to blit. Spine and butt. But that's okay. And bonfire. I have already lit this bonfire because I've been here before. And since I've been here before, I do believe I'm hitting my time limit. So I'm just gonna say thank you guys for getting this far because I'm like, I'm really sorry for that whole 40 minute video stuff of me explaining everything or whatever. I am gonna do shorter videos now and just show that off so that things are easier. But anyways, thank you guys a lot for watching my second episode of Dark Souls 3. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait. There you go.